starship, a colossal silver rocket, descended from the heavens, its gleaming hull reflecting the sunlight as it pierced through the clouds. The world watched, breathless, as this marvel of engineering began its most critical test yet. It was performing its final delicate dance, a choreography of precision and power, where every move mattered. After screaming through Earth's atmosphere at breakneck speed, it flipped upright, a maneuver that still boggles the mind and pushes the boundaries of what's possible in rocketry. Its Raptor engines fired in perfect unison, slowing its fall with controlled bursts of fire and smoke, each second a testament to years of innovation. The goal, an almost impossible feat, a soft splash down in the ocean where the margin for error is razor thin. For a moment it looked perfect. The rocket glided downward, engines humming, everything on track. This was Flight 10, and tension was electric, in mission control. Every eye was glued to the screens, every heartbeat synced with the rocket's descent. Engineers and fans worldwide held their breath, witnessing the result of years of relentless seeing the result of years of relentless, explosive iteration and sleepless nights. This is what building something new looks like. Messy, loud, and risky. Progress is forged in the fire of failure and the courage to try again. Each flight brings SpaceX closer to their dream of making space travel routine. Safe and accessible. The landing sequence was the most controlled yet. The ship was stable. Engines firing as commanded. Every system working in harmony. It was a ballet of physics and engineering. A testament to trying, failing and trying again. Each attempt to step closer to mastery. Then, just before splashdown, something went wrong. A sudden shift, a deviation from the plan. Flicker, a stutter, and the camera feed cut out, leaving millions in suspense, hearts pounding. The vehicle hit the water harder than intended. Not a disaster, but a stumble at the finish line. A reminder of how unforgiving spaceflight can be. Yet, in that stumble was a crucial lesson, a new piece of the puzzle for the next attempt. attempt. The ship survived reentry and performed its landing flip. A massive triumph, even if not perfect, proving the design's resilience. SpaceX doesn't aim for perfection on the first try. They aim for data, for understanding, for progress with every flight. Flight 10 broke at the end, but succeeded in almost every other way. Pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The data from those final moments is more valuable than a thousand perfect simulations revealing truths only reality can teach. It tells engineers exactly what to fix for the next flight, guiding every tweak and adjustment. And that's where the real story begins. At the edge of failure, where the next leap forward is born. During re-entry, a few experimental heat shield tiles failed. This was a critical moment for the mission. These weren't the standard black hexagonal tiles, but a new metallic design. They were supposed to offer better protection. As Starship blazed through the atmosphere, these tiles glowed brighter and failed. The failure was unexpected and alarming. The intense heat breached the ship's thermal armor, echoing challenges from the space shuttle era. It was a stark reminder of past difficulties. If plasma finds a way through a crack, it acts like a blowtorch rapidly eating away at the structure. This can lead to catastrophic failure. The experimental tiles let plasma leak through, threatening Starship's aluminum skin. This was a serious design flaw. The danger of a plasma leak can't be overstated. It compromises the entire mission. It's like a pinhole in a dam. At first a trickle, then a torrent. The damage can escalate quickly. The metallic tiles, meant to be an improvement, failed this crucial test. They were not ready for the harsh conditions of reentry. Footage showed plasma jetting around the failed tiles. A clear danger. This was a significant issue that needed addressing. While it didn't destroy the vehicle, it was a major red flag. The mission was at risk. SpaceX learned their new idea wasn't ready for prime time. They had to go back to the drawing board. The heat shield isn't just a component. It's a system. Every part must function flawlessly. Every tile, gap, and seal must work perfectly together. Any failure can compromise the entire system. The failure highlighted the immense challenge of building a reusable shield. It's a complex and demanding task. When new tiles fail, you innovate. SpaceX's solution? The Crunch Wrap. 
Not a Taco Bell item, but a clever engineering fix. Instead of tiles attached directly to the skin, a thin, flexible metal sheet sits underneath, like a tortilla. This layer acts as a final line of defense, spreading heat and containing leaks. During Flight 10, the standard black tiles with the crunch wrap performed beautifully. Even where plasma tried to get through, the underlying layer did its job. No significant damage was found beneath the main tile array. The crunch wrap worked. A quiet hero of the flight. SpaceX is now fitting the entire windward side with this design for Flight 11. They're doubling down on what works. This is iterative engineering test fail. Learn, invent, succeed. Solving the thermal protection system isn't just a problem. It's the problem. Without a robust solution, every other advance in rocket technology is held back. The heat shield is the gatekeeper between a reusable future and a throwaway past. The dream of making humanity multiplanetary hinges on full, rapid reusability. If rockets can't be turned around quickly and affordably, the vision of regular interplanetary travel remains out of reach. You can't build a Mars city if you throw away your spaceship after every trip. True progress means using the same vehicle again and again and again, just like airplanes. To make space travel affordable, rockets must land, refuel, and fly again quickly. The faster the turnaround, the more practical and accessible space becomes for everyone. The heat shield is the biggest obstacle. It faces the harshest conditions, enduring temperatures that would melt most metals. It must survive re-entry's inferno, be light, and endure repeated use. Every mission pushes these materials to their absolute limits. The space shuttle's tiles were fragile and costly to maintain. Each flight required painstaking inspection and repair, slowing progress. SpaceX wants a heat shield more like a car body than a ceramic vase. Tough, resilient, and easy to fix, not delicate and breakable. The hexagonal tile system and crunch wrap are their answer. This design minimizes gaps and maximizes protection, while simplifying repairs. Tiles are mass produced and easily replaced. The underlying system adds safety. If one tile fails, the rest keep the ship protected. Perfect this, and Starship could fly again in days, or hours. That's the level of reusability needed for a true spacefaring civilization. Every test focuses on re-entry, every test focuses on re-entry, the final boss of rocket engineering. It's the ultimate trial for any spacecraft hoping to fly again. If the heat shield works, Starship works, and the cost of spaceflight plummets, suddenly the impossible becomes routine. It all comes down to making sure those tiles can take the heat. The future of affordable, reusable spaceflight depends on it. A rocket needs a powerful, reliable heart. The Raptor engine. Like the heat shield, Raptor is evolving fast. SpaceX is refining it with every batch, aiming for reliability and mass production. You can't build hundreds of starships if each engine is a handcrafted masterpiece. The latest version, Raptor 3, is a leap forward. Engineers have removed complexity, reduced parts, and eliminated welds. Fewer parts mean fewer failures and faster, cheaper builds. This is Model T thinking for rocket engines. Each Starship booster needs 33 engines. Robustness is crucial. Raptor 3 is designed for reuse, built to last. Mass-producing reliable engines changes the economics of spaceflight. SpaceX can build and fly rockets more often, and experiment more. Raptor 3 isn't just an upgrade. It's a shift to industrial-scale production. This factory mindset will power humanity's expansion into the solar system. With a reusable heat shield and mass-produced engines, SpaceX is building an airline-like model for space. Like air travel, you buy a ticket, not the vehicle. Planes fly daily. Rockets could, too. This high flight rate makes space affordable. Starship could drop launch costs by a factor of 100 or more. Suddenly, space hotels, zero-gravity manufacturing, and asteroid mining become viable. New industries and jobs will emerge. Spaceport techs, orbital mechanics, Mars geologists. Space will shift from exploration to utilization. Starship could even revolutionize travel on Earth. London to Sydney in under an hour. Point-to-point -point travel bypasses airline routes, transforming logistics and business. The same rocket that goes to Mars could take you across the world before lunch. Flights like Flight 10 are laying the groundwork for a connected, interplanetary future. The revolution is just beginning. The fire and drama of a Starship test flight are thrilling, but the real story is bigger. Every lesson from a failed tile or engine part is a step toward a new future. 
We're on the verge of breaking free from Earth's bounds. SpaceX's vision is to make space accessible to many, not just a few. Lowering costs opens the door for scientists, artists, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, and families. Becoming multiplanetary is humanity's ultimate backup plan. It ensures our long-term survival. The path forward is full of challenges, failures, explosions, setbacks. But relentless learning and innovation drive progress. We've gone from small hops to near-orbital flights in just a few years. This is what happens when bold vision meets a willingness to learn from failure. As we look to Flight 11 and beyond, we're building a bridge to the future. The future is calling, and for the first time, we're ready to answer.